And when you ask what is one of my favorite paintings, I think that this painting really offers the opportunity where one could see her really as uh, vulnerable because she's, you know, she's crunched up in a ball, but then she also has a suggestive, suggestive look on her face, kind of like enticing as well. So I think that this one is the most successful as far as capturing the duality of uh, like the human psychology that I'm trying to capture. The bird's eye view is great because I, 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 I think it kind of opens up a bunch more possibilities for, um, but at the same time it is a little bit limiting because then it's like all these just different combinations of bedroom or beds and all the furniture that would be in the, the bedroom. Pottery Barn, like Anthropology, uh, West Elm, like all of the, the um, you know, home decorating magazines are a lot more valuable to me than, um, than some of the things that other artists are doing right now. And this last, like the last six paintings have all had uh, a floral pattern in them and a more geometric pattern in them like a stripes or checkered or um, diamonds. Right. Patterning and decoration has been uh, an important aspect of art forever. The, pa the paintings are really inspired by like the cult of beauty in contemporary mass media. So for me, thinking about the, the psychology of a woman and how that is portrayed in magazine, um, like fashion magazine, um, photo shoots. And so kind of the things that fashion photographers are trying to capture in, in, in their photo shoots is similar to what, what I'm doing in my own paintings. But then with the additional um, interest that I have, like collaging and patterning and uh, flat space, the aerial perspective really allows me to work within the flattened environment. It's something that I did a really long time ago. I was always getting criticized that my paintings didn't have a lot of depth in them and that the, the, the typical perspective and foreshortening that would take place wasn't happening and I was, I was exaggerating a flattened space on purpose. Everybody is just bringing their own psychology to the work, and so they see themselves in them. So for me, they're personal diaries, but I think that they go beyond just being a pretty picture. The bedroom is really like my sanctuary. Like that's where like I feel most comfortable and where I can go and be myself. They don't actually look like me, but I think that portraiture is always about documenting the self. Well, the deer head, <laughs> going back to the deer head, symbolizes